It was lights, camera, and gadgets at High Tech High School in North Bergen on February 10th, as students from the school's Digital Design and Fabrication Academy showcased some of their most unique work. It was all part of High Tech's annual Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics Day, or STEM Day as it's called. We, we've been through several types of prototypes actually. This is probably our fourth design already. So uh, throughout the entire year, probably we've worked on it six months. Students who are part of the school's DFAB Academy receive a liberal arts education as they learn the role of community in today's technology-oriented world. The majority of our students go to very well-known architecture schools and, and other design-related schools, but there's no, there's no doubt that they have a, a, real, a real good foundation in, in design before they, before they step out the door. On display this year, a robot that students will take to competitions. This year, actually, uh, the programmers had to learn Java, so all the program is based off Java. And then a after they program and they map everything, uh, they put it onto two phones, one that maps directly onto the robot, one, uh, one that is for the controller, and then that that's what allows it to be controlled. This instructor stresses the importance of understanding the difference between creating products for the real world versus using computer-assisted design. Well, if you design something in CAD, how do you actually put that part together? How do you actually fabricate it and make it last? So, you know, we design various parts, uh, benches, tables, uh, you know, long boards, skateboards, things like that. And, you know, they come up with their own design. Those who are part of the Academy also created projects using this computer numerical control laser cutter. We got this machine uh, this year um, and so far we've been kind of toying around to find out what its, its capacity is. Um, this is a project where students, um, they take a, a satellite image and then they do a vector overlay over that satellite image and then we get to laser cut um, the vectors out using the, the laser cutter that we have. February is Career and Technical Education Month, making it even more important for students to demonstrate some of the real-world knowledge the school offers. In North Bergen, this is Sherry Carabin reporting for Hudson TV.